I'm loving the look of these wild hunters of Kyrnos. Look at these boys. And Bellacor. Oh, belly. The first prince has come to play. Back on the ladder. Bringing in Draka. This is something I really want to try out. Thinking about it, Draka having a bodyguard unit of Wildwood Rangers. Another unit of Wildwood. Some Glade Riders to hold out. Try to capture objectives. Wild Hunters and, uh... Wild Hunters of Kernos and Wild Riders hiding in the Vanguard Point. A build we, we kind of expect. Four Marauders, four Chaos Warriors, all shield variants. Bellicor was a bit of a weird pick, in my opinion. Arcan's usually what you'd see, you know, with the burning head and all. Makes more sense. We're gonna try to capture points quick. Bellicor on the point. Trying to make sure I don't sneak away into that point and triple cap immediately. Wild Riders try to go in, find some Chaos War Dogs who are maxed out and get eaten alive. So my opponent knew what they were doing. Because the wild, uh, those dogs, you don't just put nine chevrons into a dog not knowing what you're going to do with them. At least in my opinion. But we'll see here. Firebark Elders will hold out against Marauders and Chaos Warriors for quite some time. So he's going to need something like Trolls. Yep, and here come the Trolls. Doing troll things absolutely destroyed the dogs, but we're going to start destroying the Marauders now. Wildwood Rangers waiting to pick their moment. I'm waiting for Bellacor to drop that stupid, uh, Flock of Doom. Pit of Shades, because once that goes down, then we're in trouble. We're going to try to bait it out here with some of these Wildwood Rangers or the Glade Riders, just over and then immediately trying to get out. Waiting for the pit. We got them on bracing, so they should be able to just run when we need them to. And if he doesn't, well, it is what it is. He's trying to pick up Draka, which is kind of a mistake. Draka's really hard to kill in this movie. I mean, she's just really hard to kill, especially when you have Firebark Elders as meat shields in front of her. And the Firebark have magic, so Bellacor's not going to be enjoying any of that once that gets going. <clears throat> Summoning in Dryads from her ability. Draken can get really cheap. I think the lowest I got her was like, what, 1350? She's pretty insane for a lore character. Wild Hunters cleaning up those Chaos Trolls caught out in the open. No Pit of Shades yet. So we are waiting, waiting. The Wildwood Rangers are going to cycle in once those Glade Riders and Wildwood Riders are out. The Rangers will come in and do their thing, getting Drek out of there, looking at her buff. Her buff right now, 17%? 17 melee attack. There it is. And only catching, uh, well, it's mainly catching the Spears, which sucks, but, you know, you can't win them all. Chaos Warriors coming in now. Here come the Wild Riders and the Hunters of Kyrnos to come clean up those trolls. He's got Seekers of Slanesh or Hell Scourges. Probably Hell Scourges. Try to deal with me. And get a nice little rear charge. We're not gonna... No, is he going for the Wild Hunters? No, he's gonna go for my Glade Riders, which is a bit strange. And Draka with the Wildwood Rangers is pretty nuts. The extra attack with their already high anti-infantry just... You're going to clean up even a, like, Chosen at that point with such buffs. And with Drake, I really don't like bringing healing, although I would like some healing for these Wildwood Rangers. They would last a lot longer. Same with the Spears. And this is a very small army I bring. Uh, I bring. I mean, you have to. It's Walk. They really don't have too many great choices for bringing in, like, a Swarm. Unless it's nothing but Marauders, and you'll definitely clean them up pretty quick. Yep. Wildwood got picked up by the Seekers, or Hell Scourges, but we're putting arrows into their backs. Shoot on some of those Wildwood Rangers. Speaking of Wildwood, er, Wildwood Rangers, those Wild Riders. Wildwood Rangers over here just clearing through Chaos Warriors and Marauders and backed up by more of them. I should have just sent them into a rear to flank, but I'm just so damn lazy. <laughs> There's no better excuse. I'm just lazy. We're already up 2,000 points here. My opponent finally bringing some Glade Riders to come deal with some Skirmish Cav because they will be the bane of my Hunters and Wild Riders. And those Trolls aren't gone yet, so we still got to put stuff in there. Another Pit of Shades on top of the Eternal Guard. Makes sense. Not going to do too much there besides kill some Eternals. I'm glad. Once that Pit of Shades goes down, though, those Eternal Guard on the side here with Draka should be able to put some hurting on Bellicor if he's not already hurting. Look at him. Holy shit. <clears throat> Draco's already down so much HP, but you got, but you know that buff's gonna be huge. And then, 
Well, the Rangers just cleave through all those, and he's sending in more Marauders and Chaos Warriors into a blender. He really needs Chaos Knights. I don't know why there's no Chaos Knights here. Seekers are, or Hellscourges are good, but you definitely need... And I don't know why Trolls either. Trolls are like a no... Like, you just don't pick those. Just Chaos Knights. Chaos Knights, Chaos Knights, Chaos Knights. The bane of any... Just any heavy cav infantry, heavily armored cav infantry for Wood Elves. And that's why I brought so many damn spears in reserve, so in case he has so many knights, I could just hide behind those. And the Wildwood Rangers can clean up any of the Marauders or Chaos Warriors as we just move up as a unit. And with Draka there, any Chaos, uh, any Chaos Force would just get melted. I need the Riders with bows just so I can at least hopefully clean some stuff up. These Glade Riders are mainly there to just chase away and intercept anything that might be a problem. I also have some Deep Wood Scouts in reserve. No big surprise there. Deep Woods are just necessary for any build. And look at Bellacor. Oh man, he's so good, but he sucks, but he's so good, and he's so cool. It's too bad he sucks. <laughs> and that's the beauty of Bellacor. He'll get his value, but that's also the problem with Bellacor. He just doesn't feel like he ever does enough. And you can get away with Bellacor. I definitely don't recommend bringing Bellacor against any faction that has like a Final Transmutation or a Deathcaster to Spear Leech him to death, because it will happen. And if they got like cheap flying units to bully Bellacor, it's actually quite a problem. Fortunately for Bellacor, Great Eagle suck ass. <laughs> Absolute shit unit. Man. Of all the units to buff, Wild Rangers was a great addition, but I can see why they didn't buff any other units as you buff Eagles, you buff any of the Eagle Riders, and this faction already being top tier would be so much more It'd be such <laughs> such a fucking pain in the ass. Oh, Spears, get out of there! Turtle Guard, get caught! Oh, I should have moved them a little bit better. Yeah, they're just getting cleaned. Although, they do get caught in their own pit of shades, which is a bit awkward. Actually, it could go pretty bad for me here. Oh, I say that, but then here comes the scythe. Ching, chook, chok. And yeah, there goes most of his units as well. A bit sloppy on my opponent's end. And then the Hunters of Karanos would just clean up most of this. We got Wild Rangers back. Only losing two models, thank you. We're gonna try to get rid of these Seekers and Chaos Armor Trolls. Chaos Trolls. And yeah, Wildwoods can clean up the Warriors. Bellacor is just in such a problem. Yeah, those Wildwoods on the side are gonna get lost. He finally recaptures the side point. We're so high up in value and map control, it really doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, look at that. Wild Hunter's getting such a huge boost from just. Draka alone, holy shit. That is insane. 67. That's not counting the large. I think it gets them to like 82 or so. It's a huge bonus. Man. Yeah, this is pretty nuts. Draka with this is pretty nuts. I don't know, between the Tree Man, the Glade Lord, Draka, it's pretty tough to say which I'd prefer. I guess it really is matchup dependent. Oh, look at this while we're just getting caught. But the Glade Riders coming in. Oh, and the rear charge from the Wild Riders, too. Just absolute devastation. Hell Stretches are done. Oh, melting like butter. Melting like butter. And yeah, Bellicor's not looking too hot at this point. We pretty much clean up everything. We're probably going to go for another triple cap soon. And there would be a great pit of shades right there. Trying to reform ranks. Dog's coming in, trying to slow us down. Which makes sense. And he's throwing everything he can. And they will do good into the Wild Hunters, but here we go. Another Scythe, cleaning up those dogs. Between that and Pit of Shades, I think I'd rather have the Scythe. The Pit of Shades is just too expensive, and it's really only good if you know your opponent's going to bring super elite units. Not so much uh, semi-elite like the Chaos Warriors. I guess into Knights would be fine, but I brought Melikos for them. Yeah, because this... Yeah, the Knights would be such a pain in the ass. Oh, man. I can't wait to show you guys a walk build I've been trying to try... Uh, I've been waiting to try out. Oh, man. you Just wait to see that video. That's going to be fun. It's got Rot Knights. It's got a Lord. I think everyone would appreciate. 
And we're coming to the end of this game. Bellacor just doesn't know what to do. He's by himself, really. He does a pit of shades on the Wildwood Rangers and a bit of the Hunter's Kyrnos, but that's about it. GG's opponent, GG's. So what do we got for value? Um, Draco paid for herself, for sure. Wildwood Rangers definitely did pretty good. Firebark lasted, paid for themselves. Same with the Riders with bows. Wild Hunters of Kyrnos. Absolute chads, paid for themselves twice over, almost twice over, probably would have. Wild Riders, still fresh, definitely would have paid for themselves twice over. Definitely worth it. Bellacor, he might have paid for himself. I think he brought every, almost everything on Bellacor, so maybe he didn't pay for himself, so yeah. Alright folks, we're at the end of the video. If you liked it, please like, sub the video, come join the Discord, come see me play, or come play yourself. Always appreciate seeing new players, or just want to show some love, that's appreciated as well. Alright folks, we're... Gonna see you again next time, hopefully. Y'all have a good one. Peace, and goodbye for now.